What the heck is up guys, it's Jacob here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a uh, static IP address in Linux Ubuntu Server 12.04. Uh, It'll actually work in pretty much any version of Ubuntu Server. So, anyways, to start out, we're going to actually go ahead and run the sudo vi command, which stands for Visual Editor. It's sort of like a little, you know, like notepad++ plus plus type of thing. Uh, plus or minus a little bit of quality, but anyways, it's like the little Visual Editor so you can edit text files in Linux. So... The directory that we need to edit is, we're going to go ahead and edit the slash etc slash um, network, network slash inter faces, slash interfaces. So slash etc slash network slash interfaces, and just go ahead and run that command, and it's going to take you to this wonderful document here. So we can see that we have this, oh, got a text message, this auto eth0. So this is our first, our primary network interface, okay? This is a loopback address. Don't ever mess with this. Just leave that as it is. That controls, you know, your 127.0.0.1. But, um, so this interface here, this eth0, is the primary interface. This is the first card on this server. Now, most servers have two uh, network interfaces. It just depends on if you're running, like, a server or a computer or whatever. But in any case, um... ETH0 is always going to be your first card. So we're just going to go ahead and hit the insert key to um, allow us to edit the file. So now we're just going to take out that DHCP and we're going to replace it with the word static. So this lets it know that we're going to be running a static address. So there's quite a few uh, components that we need to uh, add to this for the, the static address to work. So the first uh, one is, of course, the actual ad address itself. Now. This is going to be, you know, different depending on your network itself, your IP scheme. So if you run a, a router with 192.168.1.1, obviously you're going to be using those type of addresses, that that type of IP scheme. You're not going to copy mine. But my uh, particular uh, gateway, my actual router is 10.0. Whoops, sorry. Forgot I can't use the number pad here. Um, 10.0.0.1. Okay, so that's my actual gateway address. So my uh, static IP I'm going to use for this server is actually 10.0.0.4. So let's go ahead and put that in. Um, and before this, sorry guys, but you have to put the word address, A-D-D-R-E-S, S, and put a space, so like that. So you put the word address, space, and then the actual IP address that you want to use for the server. Okay, so that's how you set the IP address. Now the next piece of information you need is the... Uh, the net mask. So this is the subnet uh, mask, and uh, this will be different depending on your mm -hmm. network. Um, for me, it's 255.255.0.0. If you don't know, plug your server into the uh, router or whatever it is to the network, and then just run the ifconfig command, and it'll tell you what your current net mask is, and that'll usually stay the same. You're not ever going to change your net mask. Uh, when you if you go from DHCP to static, your your net mask will stay the same. So um, then you're gonna put in the network address netwrk, and now what this typically is is it's your gateway, but you put a zero on the end of it instead of the last number. That's usually how it how it works out. Um, this is just a, a um an address so that the servers can talk to each other on a network. Uh, it's not really a crucial. Uh, element to this to the uh, static IP address, but um, just go ahead and put it in there. Um, but yeah, it's usually your gateway. So if you had like 192.168.1.1, it'd be 192.168.1.0. Just go ahead and replace your last number of your IP address with a zero. Okay. Now then the um, the next piece that you need is the broad b r o a d c a s t the broadcast address. Again, this is one of those ones that's kind of like the network. It's so that the servers can talk to each other and send messages to each other on the local network. It's not really a, a, an incredibly crucial address. You know, if you put it a, a wrong one in there, it would probably still work fine. It's not really going to affect much unless you're actually using it. In most cases, you're not. But just go ahead and put, um, again, uh, if you're not sure what to put, run the IF config command with your DHCP on, and it'll tell you what your current broadcast address is. And just go ahead and put that same address in there. But okay, you see how we have 255. 255.0.0. 0. So for these two zeros, we're going to start out by putting our gateway address. So that's 10.0. But then since we have two zeros here, we're going to put dot 
255.255. If it was if our if our net mask was 255 255 255 you'd put 10.0.0.255. So wherever you have a zero in your sub or in, your, in your net mask, go ahead and put a 255 in place on your broadcast address. Um, it doesn't have to be that way, but that's typically um, how you would see it set up. That's a common way. And then the last piece of information you need is the gateway, the G-A-T-E-W-A-Y. Okay, so this is gonna be your actual gateway address. Again, if you don't know what this is, run the ifconfig command before you do this, and it will tell you your current gateway. That will not change what, if you're going from a static to a, a dyna or from dynamic to a static address. And in my case, that's 10.0.0.1. This is in a lot of cases, you know, like 192.168.1.1 or 172.16.0.1 or something like that. You know, that's that's a typical uh, gateway address. It's usually a really uh, low number. It has the last number is usually the lowest number on the whole uh, network. So I mean, honestly, the the three pieces that must be correct are your address, your net mask, and your gateway. If those three are correct, it'll work. You know, these are not really crucial to the static IP. You know, they're not very, uh, unless you're going to actually use them, they're not, you know, they're not going to make or break your static IP. So once you're done with that and everything is set up, you're just going to go ahead and hit the escape key. If you guys aren't sure what to put in any of these and you're having trouble with it, go ahead and head over to my site, the hackhubforms.com, or the hackhub.com, go into the forum section and just ask a question there and you can, I'll help you out. But um, for now, just go ahead and hit the escape key, uh, shift semicolon so that'll take you to this little colon here and write the w to write q to quit okay so now that we've written those changes um we're gonna go ahead and run the, the restart the network card which is the command for that is sudo you're gonna have to run a sudo privilege again and then slash etc slash init init dot d slash net n-e-t-w-r-k slash networking and then the space and then the restart command, R-E-S-T-A-R-T. -E Just like that, hit enter and it'll restart the network interfaces and it says it's reconfiguring them and it, you should say uh, stop waiting and start running. It should give it a process ID. If it says it cannot, um, if it says it, that it, it failed to start the network card, then you have done something wrong in your settings and they do have to be very exact, you know? So now if we go ahead and run the IF config command, uh, you have to spell it right, the if config command, and it shows our our uh, address here. This is the static address that we put in. It shows our broadcast, our net mask, and everything. So this is the new static address that we put in for ETH0, for the Ethernet0 interface. And that's the primary. Again, if you guys have multiple interfaces, let me just show you guys how to do that real quick. So we're going to go back to the sudo vi uh, slash etc slash network slash interfaces, and it's really pretty simple. Whoops. What we're going to do is just go ahead and insert, and we're going to go down here. And we're just going to pretty much copy this, except we're going to replace ETH0 with ETH1. So we're just going to write the word auto and then um, ETH1. And this is how I set up my servers personally, because I do use both internet, uh, both uh, network interfaces. And I face ETH1, INET, INET. And then uh, for the second one, I just use DHCP. I don't make my second card static. So these um, acquire a, a DHCP address from my uh, DHCP server, which is my PSN's box. And then uh, so my these are where I host everything from my for my primary IP address. And these are the gigabit cards on my servers uh, that I use for to go through my gigabits, which is and whatnot. And this is the DHCP. I just use DHCP. So you would just uh, instead of having ETH0, just put the word ETH1, and that would go to your second uh, network interface. And just escape WQ. We'll go ahead and restart the uh, interface, the interfaces. So we're going to reconfigure them. Run the um, the uh, ifconfig command. It says um, unknown interface ETH1. I don't know why it's saying that, but let's see if it... Yeah, so it doesn't recognize it. Let's see what we uh, screwed up on here. Uh, go here. That should be correct because there there are two um, interfaces on this. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, I don't know why it's uh, it's not recognizing that card right now, 
But um, that's how you would add a second card. For some reason, it just doesn't recognize our, our uh, second Ethernet card right now. So I don't know what the, the deal with that is, but I'll have to look into that on my own. But if you wanted to have a second card, that's what you would do. That works for me like any other time except, of course, the time I make the tutorial. I don't know why, but it's just screwing me right now. And it's not worth troubleshooting. But anyways, that's pretty much it for this one, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little... Um, tutorial on how to make a static IP address and the next one we'll go ahead and make a tutorial on uh, the lamp server installing the lamp because I got a request on that on the forum so anyways that's pretty much it for this one guys I hope you guys enjoyed it and like always have a good one